going to try a piece of the salmon first, I think, and then I'll try a crouton, see how they are. Mmm. Salmon is cooked beautifully. Let me see if I can get a crouton. Ooh. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. The herbs and the salmon go really well together, so the combination is really nice. Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious herby crouton fish salad. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious herby crouton fish salad. So this recipe is really easy to do and this is a delicious dish to make for an evening meal or a lunchtime dinner as well. Um, this recipe is really quick and easy, but it is also super tasty as well. So even though it's quick, you don't lose any of the flavor. There are lots of different herbs in this dish, which makes it really flavorsome. And I love it. I'm going to be having it for my lunch today. And of course, while I was making it, I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do to get the flies out of my kitchen, there are a few flies flying around at the moment they can smell the fish I think is I am going to put a piece of salmon if I can get it out the wrapping there you go into a baking tray and I'm just going to go and wash my hands because I've just touched raw fish as I said I've popped the salmon into a baking tray now you don't need to use salmon if you don't want to you could use cod or you could use a piece of tuna for this dish as well any fish will do basically um, so I've popped this into my baking tray now I'm using a stoneware baking tray by Pampered Chef you don't have to use a stoneware baking tray to cook fish at all but if you are are using a different baking tray then please oil it before putting it in the oven because your fish will get stuck otherwise I don't need to oil this one because it's stoneware it tends to it's like a non-stick base basically stoneware is really good because it tends to absorb the badness from the food and only leave the goodness so anyway now I'm going to be putting this into the oven for about 15 minutes Next I'm going to cook the crouton. So what I've done is I've put a large pan and I'm going to put that onto a high heat on my hob and I'm going to add oil to the base of that pan and I'm going to leave the oil to heat up. The pan is getting warmer and I don't think I'm going to fit all of the croutons into the saucepan. So I'm just going to do this in two halves. So I'm going to make the croutons in two batches and the first thing I'm going to do is use half of the herbs that I've just chopped. So in this bowl here I have some oregano, some thyme, some rosemary and some lemon balm as well and I'm just going to pop that into the oil and I'm just going to fry that for a few seconds just to give the oil some flavour. I'm going to move it around a bit as well like so and hopefully that will flavour the oil and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop about half of these croutons into the frying pan and hopefully what will happen is the croutons will pick up the flavour of the herbs and they will be infused with the herb flavour so just going to pop in about half into the pan and I'm going to cook these on both sides until they've gone a lovely golden brown colour so I'm just going to leave that half in there for a moment I'm just going to leave that to cook until it goes golden brown and then I'll flip it over. The croutons have started to cook beautifully so I'm just flipping them over and I am just putting them on their backs now to cook the underside as well. They smell really nice so hopefully this will be delicious. I'm sure it will. So as I said I'm just going to cook the underside now and then I will repeat the process with the rest of the croutons. That's the croutons cooked and as you can see these are really lovely and crispy so I'm going to go and make the salad. Now I'm going to move on to making the salad. So in this colander here I have probably about a handful of rockets and I also have a handful of fennel as well. We have been growing rocket and fennel in the garden this summer and I have to say they taste amazing. So I'm always trying to add them to as many things as possible. So I'm just putting these into my mixing bowl like so. 
and then to that I'm going to add um, tomatoes in the original recipe I did say cherry tomatoes but I don't have any cherry tomatoes at the moment I've only got a large ones, so I've just simply sliced and diced the large tomato so I've got one large tomato that I've sliced and diced and then I've got about a quarter of a cucumber that I've cut lengthways and quartered lengthways again and then just simply cut into slices basically I just simply sliced it and then I have one carrot that I've just simply grated as well and I'm going to mix those ingredients together like so and then to that I'm going to add some olive oil so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil and then probably a couple of teaspoons of apple cider vinegar um, the apple cider vinegar just gives it a sharpness which is really nice and it also it kind of helps to bring the flavors of the other ingredients together as well so I'm just going to add that in and I'm going to get myself some salt and pepper for the salad as well. So I've grabbed myself some salt and pepper and I'm just going to add these to the mixing bowl as well. I'm just going to put in a bit of pepper as well like so. I'm going to mix these again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these to my serving dish. So I've got myself a really big bowl here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this salad up, I think. So I'm going to add the croutons to the salad. So I'm just going to spread those over the top like so. And then... These will keep for a day or so as well. If you keep these in an airtight container, they're quite nice after a day or so as well. So you could have this salad again tomorrow if you wanted to. I just used two slices of bread, by the way. Um, so I just got two slices of wholemeal bread and I just sliced it up. Um, and then I, as, I, as you saw, I just fried it. So, And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, going to put it on top my piece of salmon. I think in the original recipe I used a piece of basil, but I decided salmon sounded much better today. So that is my lunch done, and I will try a bit in a minute when I've gone and got myself a knife and fork as well. Just thought I'd try a little bit of the salad because it smells so good, I can't wait. So I'm just going to try. A piece of the salmon first, I think, and then I'll try a crouton, see how they are. Mmm. Salmon is cooked beautifully. Let me see if I can get a crouton. Ooh. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. The herbs and the salmon go really well together, so the combination is really nice. So that... Is my lunch done? That's how you make my delicious Herbie Crouton fish salad and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier I'm going to be having this for my lunch today and it smelled and tasted so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.